Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. Rin Srinivasan Shastri. In my last video, we had completed about Venus, the know-how, the hidden facts about Venus, or you can call it like this, to use the planet Venus in different formats or in different placements or in diff using in different ways for knowing different things. Likewise, today we are going to take up or we are going to talk about the planet Saturn. Okay? Even here, we are going to know certain things which generally are not utilized regarding Saturn and the timing of events. What are all the things we can know from Saturn? Generally, Saturn is nothing but a significator of profession, death, problems. Fine. This is the general thing. That is true. Apart from these, Saturn can be used for many other purposes also. How to use and what all the purposes are. This is what we are going to learn today. First thing is Saturn is profession. Everybody knows that. Saturn is a giver of profession. How does he give a profession? How does Saturn give a profession? Saturn gives us profession according to the placement in different signs or Rasis because each Rasi has a signification when Saturn is placed in that Rasi the significations of that Rasi will tell us what type of a profession the native is going to have for him or her okay in addition to this not only about Saturn's placement in different signs, we also take into consideration the 10th house of Saturn. From Saturn, the 10th house tells us about the provision of the Saturn or a provision of the native. That is one point. The planets which are in the preceding or succeeding houses from Saturn they also give their contribution. They give their significations, contribution to the planet Saturn to precisely be noting it as one particular profession or one type of a profession. This is one thing. Second, the same planets, certain planets, for example, Rahu. Rahu in front of Saturn will give the native a low paid job. Rahu with Saturn, the native, though he may be highly talented, even then he will have a low paid job. Even this is, even this is also given by, or this is also known by Saturn and other planets. When I did my Saturn video, Saturn in different houses, I have told about these things. Today, here and there I will pick those points. Just a point for you all to remember. That's all. But major, my concentration of today's explaining about Saturn will be different things. What all you can know from Saturn's moments. Okay? Right. So when you come to provision, I told you earlier itself, that the placement of Saturn will tell us the type of a profession and the planets preceding or in the succeeding houses from Saturn will tell us the particular type of a profession. The 10th house from Saturn, the 10th house, I am not talking about the Lord, the 10th house will tell us about the particular field of profession. Okay, This is one fact. Second, we have here 
to know or we have to know not we have here we have to know how far the profession is strong whether it is a very highly placed profession in the hierarchy whether it is a very good business if it is a business or whether it is a low paid job or whether it is a small time business whatever it may be it is according to the individual saturn's position only these things are reflected clear yeah now usually i have been telling earlier also from saturn from saturn if you have sun in the third house i'll repeat once again from saturn in the third house if you have sun the profession will be a very good one the same thing holds good for mercury and sun okay because usually mercury will be somewhere nearer to sun only so <clears throat> if it is business it will be a large scale business how you can know this only there there are two things to know about whether a business is a whole scale wholesale or a large scale or in the higher hierarchy or a low paid job by noticing or when sun is in the third house from saturn when sun is in the third house from saturn when sun is in the seventh house from saturn when sun is in the tenth house from saturn that business that profession or that native will have a beautiful very good large scale business he will have a profession where he will be well in a well placed hierarchy well placed well paid okay emoluments will be good facilities will be more he will be standing high in the hierarchy clear this is about saturn's position what we have to do is who is there and how far a native's profession is strong how far he is successful in his profession that can be noticed in this method this is one point as i have told you earlier even this i have completed saturn in aries and scorpio will give you one type of profession saturn placed in taurus prishabh or thula they will have one type of profession saturn in gemini or virgo kanya mithuna kanya they will have one type of profession these things i have told you when i told or when i talked about saturn in different signs you can hunt back into that videos <coughs> now very fast i will be with this same things i'll repeat but it will be quick aries about land about teaching or coaching others in their sports field about history these things about police department about scorpio when saturn spreads in scorpio it will be about machinery industries these things taurus financial institutions government treasuries taurus finers tula is nothing but finers and also you can if you have got a good combination that is different generally in one vague answer or one one particular angle it will shoot it will give us only finance finance and also about treasuries okay and the next uh, mithuna or gemini virgo and kanya in these places it talks about media newspaper documentary press these things media industries it may be pertaining to the media or indirectly involved with the media this will be the type of profession of business in virgo it will be something like law department of law judge this six village headman also is impossible there 
agricultural is also possible then, provided some other planets combinations come in between them right cancer the profession will be in a different land will be having a mixed type of a profession leo it will be in an hospital it will be a government job like that then sagittarius banking industry pisces it may be aviation it may be travel lines aquarius psychology or hotel business in alcohol drinks and capricorn professor in maths or professor in uh, chartered accountant or professor in uh, calculations these are the things this i have already said just blindly i once again repeated it okay this is one part so sun 3 and 7 best business or profession sun in aries scorpio these things will tell you about the profession when you are going to get the profession now this is the important one here we can talk so many things about profession but when a person is going to get into a profession that is very important then only he will be happy the native whoever comes to you if at all you are going to tell him that this is the particular age your son or daughter is going to get into profession line they will be feeling very happy when this happens now we need a chart Mm. Okay, fine. Let us continue it like this, and again we will try to find a place for this. I started early. After that, once again, I'll try to drop it on a chart. Profession. Saturn's first round is from the period of one to thirty. That is a native's age of one to thirty years, because it takes Saturn takes thirty years. Don't worry about the retrogradeness. That lapse of period of retrogradeness coming and going forward that six months. Don't bother about all those things. blindly orally you calculate or you keep in your mind that it takes 30 years for one rotation of the 12 signs from the place where he was at the time of birth of the native clear this is one important thing we should note once again i'll repeat the first 30 years of one rotation of saturn among all the rasis or signs are important not the retrograde period don't conclude it or don't exclude it in the calculation just keep it aside that is necessary but not now so in this first 30 years <clears throat> jupiter takes only 12 years for one round of 12 signs even they kindly don't include the retrograde part of it don't go in deep into calculation of excluding the number of months he has been in retrograde don't do all that visualize that you are seeing the jupiter transiting for 12 months in the 12 rasis clear for your counting it will be 12 months only and for saturn it will be 30 months okay uh oh, 30 years sorry <laughs> i'm sorry 30 years <clears throat> so 12 years uh 12 years for jupiter 30 years for saturn now here listen carefully when jupiter starts his second round that is his dhanasthanam so when he is capable of performing that activities kutumbasthanam dhanasthanam activities then only he can give you the dhanasthanam how you get the dhanasthanam by your profession so it means from jupiter you have to calculate after 12 
okay from saturn from the placement of saturn you have to calculate for the provision in the first round because saturn as soon as it touches venus it will give you a job in material whether it is a male chart or a female chart again one more thing will come about the wife let us not get disturbed there we will keep that pending about profession we are talking and about profession only we are going to deal once again i'll repeat <clears throat> jupiter starts earning money in his second round dhanasthanam round kutumbasthanam round so the first 12 years will be about the self as a logical thinking the child is 1 to 12 is a child after 12 only anything is he is going to achieve by that time some education qual education qualifications would he would have completed and after that he has to go into some other qualifications to get a job so the first 12 years is for himself for the self for the native from 12 to 24 it will be about dhanasthanam kutumbasthanam whatever it is whatever he will be of use to the family that is from 12 whatever his work or profession or earnings will be given to the family only from 12 to 24 clear now here <clears throat> what i said is from 12 to 24 you are to count on uh, jupiter because he take 12 years to complete one rotation in all the signs in middle of retrograde period forget about that same way saturn also takes 30 years to complete from the place where he is placed from the sign he is placed till he comes back to complete after completing the 12 signs from the time of birth or at the time of birth from the sign where saturn is placed from there till he comes it takes 30 years don't mistake me i'm repeating it it is only for you or self to concentrate right now i don't have a chart i can do that but again i have to take out this okay i will do here this portion i can bring it later very small chart i'm going to put and this chart will be only south india because i don't have space for the other chart okay this is the chart now we have got jupiter we have got saturn we have got ketu we have got mars we have got venus we have got moon we have got sun we have got rahu we have got mercury so all the nine planets you got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay what did they say jupiter second round when he touches venus jupiter's second round that is 12 to 24 when he touches venus he has to see the money main why saturn within 1 to 30 years when saturn touches venus or aspects venus i repeat once again i'm sorry for the repetition there is no other way where i can push it into your head this is the only way where i can see that it is going rightly into your thoughts when jupiter continues the second round from 12 to 24 at that time when he touches the venus he will give the job to the native because he is running a second round dhanasthana adipati round this is one point this is one angle next we need saturn also because nobody gives him the money he has to work when he has to work you need saturn's contribution 
how Saturn is going to contribute now? Yeah. Saturn's round is 1 to 30 because as soon as a child is born, Saturn is placed in one sign. From there, if it starts the rotation, it will take 30 years for one round of all the 12 signs. Okay? When Saturn is in 1 to 30 years, in his first rotation, at that time, when he aspects Venus, when he touches Venus, he will give the job to the native. Okay? Let's see how. I told you Jupiter's second route inclusive of Saturn's first route. In case of Jupiter, he has to touch Venus to get the money. Whereas Saturn has to aspect Venus to get the money. I told you here, when Saturn aspects Sun, the job will be good. When Sun is placed in the third house, seventh house and tenth house, job will be good. That means, as soon as Saturn aspects Venus, he is going to give the job. Clear? Yeah. Now let us take, from 12 to 24 is the age pattern for Jupiter. Second round. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay? No, no. Uh, first round. 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Exactly he will be somewhere here at the age of 22. This is point number one. Jupiter. Jupiter. 22 age. Okay. When he has to get a job at the age of 22. Simultaneously, Saturn also has to cooperate. This is what my statement is. Well, let's see how Saturn is going to cooperate. Saturn is here, two and a half years, two and a half, two and a half, five, two and a half, two and a half, five, ten, uh, two and a half, two and a half, five, fifteen, two and a half. So, Saturn, two and a half, two and a half, five, ten, 15, 20, 22. At 22, he was in Leo. When he sits in Leo, third was aspect Venus. What I told you here? When Saturn aspects Venus, he will get the job. So here 22. Jupiter's round is 22. He got the job. Because first 12 rounds, by the time he comes here, it will be 24, 23, uh, 22, it will come here, 24 here, 22 will be here. So naturally, 22 will be the age, you will get the job. I hope this is clear. So whenever you are going to do or find out the date of appointment of your job, of course there are other things also, you can say, so many people quit jobs frequently. So they have to wait for another 30 years. <laughs> it's not like that. Whenever in the transiting periods or in the Jupiter transiting periods, the first job only Saturn's involvement. After that, the difference from there, what all the planets, for example, it has come here, it has uh, Saturn has come here and aspected Venus. He has given a job. Next he aspects after coming here. So, so many years in the first job, next job, like that. Of course, that also I am going to tell you all. Right now, the first job, how a person is going to get, only that I am dealing. Quitting of jobs, getting new jobs, fine. Even suspension in jobs can be noted through Saturn. You will definitely know that when we are dealing with, uh, when we are dealing with a chart. At that time, I have some important uh, questions like these which I am going to put forth in front of you and give the answers myself. Okay? So let me be continuing with this now. So this is the only one technique where you can know the period of getting a job. This is about.
profession. No profession point is over. <coughs> Second, period of problems. Okay? Because Saturn is not only profession, he also gives the problems. Saturn, he also gives us problems. So now here, to know about the period of problems in an individual case, in a native's chart, what we have to use or what are the uh, tools we are going to use. We are not going to touch Saturn. Because for Saturn, it takes a longer time to travel through the 12 houses. But the problems are not that slow. Problems come faster than Saturn. And Saturn's aspect is 3, 10, 7. And of course, when he is in the trinal to other signs, even there also you will have effects. For this case, what a native is going to face, it is his life, it is his problem, it is his destiny. That destiny, how it will change? It will change only according to the transiting Jupiter. Saturn gives the profession one time, waits for four or five years in one profession, or sometimes permanently in one profession till the end. That is the main profession. Problems are not like that. Problems come and go, now and then they will be appearing. When they will appear, when they are going to give hindrances to the native, this part we are going to study now by taking transiting Jupiter into consideration. I told you to know about a problem, we need the tool of Jupiter, not Saturn. Clear? When transiting Jupiter, when transiting Jupiter, touches Saturn, whenever he comes, whenever in his rounds he comes, when he touches Saturn, that would be the period of problems. One point, touching, to use Jupiter touches Saturn. This is one point. When Transiting Jupiter is aspected, aspected by Saturn. These are the two things which will happen or these are the two placements where a person will get into problems. Saturn's aspect means third house aspect, seventh aspect, tenth house aspect. Tenth house aspect will be very less. 3rd and 7th one, they directly hit. It will be very nearer to Saturn. So, this is the period of problems. When a transiting Jupiter, in middle of the rounds, ah, not always it will be the problems pertaining to the individual. And according to the rounds, when I talk about the rounds, I will tell you which problem is pertaining to him individually. Which are the problems will be pertaining to the family, but he has to struggle, the native. Which are the problems pertaining or which are the problems given by the children? Which are the problems faced through losses? And when that is going to happen, you will know about those things in the rounds of Jupiter. That is shortly coming. Just wait. Right now, the main theory has to go into the system, then only you can follow the other one. So, I think I am clear with this problems. Transiting Jupiter touches Saturn. Transiting Jupiter aspects aspected by Saturn. The native will have problems. This is about problems. Let us finish the problems here. Now, there is one more thing Saturn gives us. 
Saturn also or through Saturn we can also know about functions and ceremonies. Okay? Functions and ceremonies. At this point are uh, ceremonies. What are the type of ceremonies? Childbirth ceremony. Naming ceremony for a child ceremony. Marriage ceremony. Uh, we have got so many other ceremonies in the in those systems and uh, all the all the ceremonies which are conducted at home for the people of the house. Sisters marriage for the native it is a ceremony. You can find it in two places. This is the beauty of Nadi. <clears throat> in a case of a, in a natal chart, you can know whether any ceremony is going to take place in that particular month, either for the sister or for the brother or whoever it may be. And in her case, in, her, in his sister's case, you can also know whether the time has come for her marriage or child birth or something like that. So this is two-way calculations. When you have to be precise, you have to be precise in both the calculations. You have to be sure in both the calculations. You have to get the same answer in both the calculations. Then I call that as a perfect astrology. Okay? It happens. I have seen this. I have seen this. Okay. I'll just put you, uh, put in front of you a small example. I'll be very fast. I'm not distracting you or I'm not going out of the subject where death was there. Once a lady was suffering from cancer, okay, the brother came to me and asked me how long she's going to suffer. I, I did not want to tell him, but he forced me. I told him that's a different story. It happened. Before happening, let me, I wanted to check myself whether how far this will be true. I took his chart and they saw about the sisters. They, they came to the one point, particular point only. Without any difference, I saw it. Like that, of course, I'll teach you all. You can also know things. That's the beauty of Nadi astrology. So many people have not worked on it. Or maybe they don't want to do it. But I went a little, one step further to see the truth in it. I got it. So this is why I am, I mean, that's the reason I am able to tell you all. Where all you have to see. For example, if there is a function to be celebrated in the native's house, whose function it is, you can know through the Nadi. And whether you can check in that chart also whether the function is going to happen in that particular period. Same process there also. But in a different, we are using a different planet or using a different dimension. So functions and ceremonies only two planets help us with that. Sun. Mercury. Why Sun and Mercury only take interest in telling us about the functions? <laughs> sun is a spiritual planet. Sun is God. Sun is deity. There are a lot of significations of Sun. Sun is spiritual. Okay? That's why function comes there. Mercury. Mercury, I told you, it is about relatives, it is about neighbors, it is about get together, it is about children. So when when a function happens or a ceremony takes place only, you will have sun there, you will have mercury there. People will be there, holy people will be there, ceremonies will be conducted. And that has to be given by Saturn. When can Saturn give you that? Just like when Saturn aspects Venus and gives you the money at the same con in the same context, when Saturn aspects Merc uh, Mars, Sun and uh, Mercury, he will create the functions at home. Nobody would have thought of, but suddenly things will happen. That is for sure. Okay? I hope it's clear. Once again, I'll put it here. When Saturn aspects, third house aspect, seventh house aspect, 
10 those aspect in any of these aspects when saturn aspects from third house i mean um, third house uh, from 11th house from, from sun seventh house from sun and also to 10th house from sun i mean uh, yeah fourth house from sun so third house aspect seventh house aspect 10th house aspect by saturn on sun and mercury will give us the period of celebrations okay right uh, i hope that is enough but uh, if you come across you can you could did not understand i will be able to narrate it because there is no much space for that okay i'll take one or two examples right that i can do when saturn aspects see in this chart for this chart which has happened which has occurred i am giving you that particular date only two examples based on those two examples i am trying to narrate how it took place in this chart or for this native 1991 the native's father died this is father's death 1998 <clears throat> it was the natives sons thread ceremony opanayanam this is thread ceremony for the son okay two functions i am taking because death is also a function we have to have gathering and we have to cry all these things will be there in the death death is a function now the 12 days whatever it is etc etc according to their own dharmas and here sons open i know that is thread ceremony clear at the age of 1998 the lady was 38 years old at the age of 1991 the lady was 31 years old hope i have made my point clear 1991 this is not fictitious this is what happened in this gentleman's case one is a naming ceremony one is a death both we call it as functions or celebrations or whatever you call it 1991 the father's death at that time the age of the native was 31 when it is 31 where will be saturn exactly in the same positions because he takes 30 years to complete the 12 houses 31 he'll be there when he comes here he aspects the sun in the 10th house kindly note this sun is there in virgo from sagittarius saturn aspects the 10th house aspect then the death has taken place sun and mercury are there so that is why both the planets gave him the ceremony at the age of 31 yes why it has been the father's death only that you can come when i talk about death in the same chapter clear right this 31 problem is solved now let's go to thread ceremonies 98 so 1998 the native's age of 38 years so where will be the saturn at the time clear 30 or 30 the first round is over when this is 31 35 37 and a half 38 seven those aspect sun and mercury you cannot deny it it has to happen 
it has happened this is only two examples i have talked about today but when i comes to the round when i come to the rounds of jupiter you will have a lot of examples okay meanwhile you can select your own charts and try to see on what ages forget about the retrogradeness don't include that particular portion blindly think it like this jupiter takes 12 years for one round saturn takes 30 years for one round saturn profession it is 1 to 30 of course if at all saturn is uh, venus is here very early saturn will definitely touch venus that means you think he is going to get into a job may not be there but small time jobs there are people who work as child laborers of course it is wrong that is different but for the family food some young kids are made to work with the father with the brother in his own mechanical shop or in his own welding welding shop or in his own hotels even they they get the money go and enjoy fine it is not as a salary but these few the native will see the money so don't go for the counter arguments because you will lose the subject i can ask any question you can ask any question i can give you any answer but why <laughs> when you want to know the subject why you have to unnecessarily argue just to see who is going to win here winning or losing is not the criteria we have to know the subject that's it because you have got an interest in the subject you want to know it okay so this is how it has happened 98 saturn was there was there or not you have to visualize this is the age the son or daughter is going to get his naming ceremony or trade ceremony and this is the age where ah very fast i'll be here why death suns okay suns ay sthana adhipati is aries ay uh, sthana is aries lord is mars where is mars mars is here so when saturn comes at 31 age he aspects mars and also 10th house so ay sthan father's ay sthana adhipati and father, sun and mercury definitely the danger to the father has come So this is second part of the reasoning that you will know when i touch about death okay so this is one particular thing now the functions in ceremonies are over change of place change of place or business this is also one angle because everybody they will be asking for change of places when i will go to a foreign land most of the people are interested in foreign land right now what they are going to do there of course maybe lo more money or something like that or more uh, it's better and they want to settle down there right it is individual opinion let me not talk about that that's not my concern when they are going that i have to tell it's my job or tomorrow it will be your job or not a job as a hobby you can learn that's a different thing but be precise be particular be accurate okay. about the change of the house or about the change of the uh, profession or place moon whenever whenever saturn has an aspect third house aspect on moon seventh house aspect on moon tenth house aspect on moon he will make the native have a change in his pattern of job change of job change of his domicile place of living clear now in 30 years where are the places or how many years once saturn will the first site is third house second site is seventh 
So, the first sight is third house. Seventh sight is as a um, seventh sight is uh, seventh uh, seventh house from Saturn. Tenth sight is tenth house. Okay, these are the places. I told you Saturn takes thirty years. If at all he is going to come here and touch moon, if he has to touch a moon, he has to come all the way for so many years. But one more thing I told you, whenever Saturn aspects third house, when Saturn comes here, it is one aspect, seventh house. When Saturn comes here, it aspects moon. When Saturn comes here, it aspects moon. 10th house, 7, 8, 9, 10. When Saturn comes here, he will aspect moon. Fine. So these are the places. That is Capricorn, Aries, Ra, Leo. In these three places, when the transiting Saturn comes and stays there, he will be having an aspect on moon and he will change the professional pattern of profession or change of place will be there for the native. This is what I was trying to tell you all. Okay? okay. How long it will take here? When Saturn has to come here, it will be five years. Fine. When Saturn has to come to A, it is five, ten, twelve years. Okay? When Saturn has to come here, it is 21 years. In the same chart, what all has happened, I will tell you all. Later on, you can use your own intuition and the knowledge what I have told you or how much you have perceived through that and with your charts, you can come out with certain calculations. Five years. <coughs> Saturn, when it came to Capricorn, Moon was there. Yes, the child when it was five years, they shifted to a new residence. This I know. And of course, calculation wise is important. Just to prove this, I leave it to you. You can take your pure intuition, your calculations, your knowledge and your horoscopes and you can know about that provided you calculate in this way. Clear? 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> he went to a different school and that school was totally in a different place. When he was sick, 5 years old, he, went, he, joined, he was joined into school. First change of Saturn. When he was 12 years, that means he, when he was a 6th standard or 7th standard, I think, for 7th standard, that is SSLC, or, or, no, 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 7th standard, uh, he went to, to a different school. That was a 12 years change. 21, he got the job because Venus was there, Moon was there. He got the job and wherever the job was, he was shifted to that 21. Okay, so this is what has happened Happened when Saturn aspects Moon. Third house aspect, seventh house aspect, tenth house aspect. This is third house aspect, this is seventh house aspect, and this is tenth house aspect. I think even this point is over. Period of loss or problems. I have told you all about problems. Let me take only the period of loss. I will close it here. Period of loss and death. These are the only two things which I need to clear now. Period of loss. <clears throat>
there are other factors which tell you are the period of losses but this is one among them right now i am talking about saturn so i am giving about saturn now let's get a good chart good chart same old chart it's a very good chart actually now this is jupiter once again and this is saturn once again mars once again ketu once again rahu sun mercury moon venus <coughs> now what are we looking at period of losses I told you earlier, you will gain money in the second round, twelve to twenty-four. You will see profits only. In the third round, you will see the losses. Jupiter's third round. That is one to twelve, twelve to twenty-four, twenty-four to thirty-six. I am taking or I am talking about Jupiter second round at the third round because I am trying to include the problems to the native and the problems by the Saturn given to the native. Clear? When the, in the third round you will have to face he has to face loss because third house is nothing but loss giving placement. Travels also is there. He will spend his money to the traveling. Loss is also there. He has to have loss. Loss. What are the types of losses? Somebody may rob him on the way. One loss. He may be forced to sell his land for half a price. Loss. He may, for he may be forced to sell his house for clearing debts. Loss. I mean there are other. Challenging things before him, he has to do this. He has to occur a loss. If that is indicated in the chart, definitely he has to do that. And when he is going to do that, he will do it only in this twenty-four to thirty-six round. When Jupiter, after finishing two rounds, twenty-four to thirty-six, yeah. Even in this round, when the loss will take place, twenty-four to thirty-six is. Twelve years, okay. From twenty-four, nothing will happen. But when Saturn, I told you, one to thirty, is only one round. The second round of Saturn, thirty to sixty. No, 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 thirty to thirty-six. Only these six years. He will create the loss. Saturn touching Venus. Saturn aspecting Venus. How? See, Aries seventh house aspect, third house aspect, and tenth house aspect. When Saturn is Capricorn, he will aspect Venus. When Saturn is in Leo, he will aspect Venus. When Saturn is here, he will aspect Venus. Now, not all the times he is going to take away. The money. I tell you, third house aspect is usually the place where Saturn takes away the money. I told you six years. By the time he crosses six years, Jupiter would have touched it the fourth round. I told you twenty-four to thirty-six. He has already started at twenty-four. And this twenty-four where? He will be ready. Saturn in the thirty years, he will be giving him the money at that time. So he cannot pull away that money. Only in that thirty-six, twenty-four uh, to thirty-six years, the third round of Jupiter, Saturn tries to pull away the money. In between how many years? Because Jupiter has to finish his third round before thirty-six, 
Saturn takes from 30 to 60 years. Second round. So he has got only from 30 to 36. Till here, 30 is over. Then these two, 35. So when he comes here, that is 30, 32 by 33. Exactly by 33 when Saturn is in Capricorn, he will aspect, he will have an aspect on Venus. At that time, he will knock away the money. He will try to, of course, how far the loss will be there, how deep the loss will be or how heavy the loss will be there, that other planets also have to give their contributions to talk about that. Right now, our main intention is to know what will happen when Saturn aspects Venus within the 30 to 36 years within the 6 years 30 to 6 years that is only 3 signs and if at all Venus is caught in this web here or uh, here or 7, 8, 9, 10 here definitely these things will happen ok this is about the loss now finally the death okay So let us take it like this and uh, automatically the red came into picture when we started speaking about death. I know what connections are there between red and death. To be brighter. Fine. Now Jupiter, Saturn, Mars. Mercury and Sun, Moon and Venus. This is Rahu. This is Kate. With the help of same chart, I have given you about Saturn and grandfather. Paternal and maternal, there was a, a little controversy between who is the paternal, who is the maternal. Whatever maternal, whatever paternal is there, according to your studies or according to your analysis and according to what I have given, you find the truth yourself in that. What I know, I have given you. Even now what I am giving is only what I have touched, what I have reached, what I have learned. First thing, what all happens in a native's family? Death of grandparent second death of father or mother death of self in this only you can bifurcate about wife or husband. So I know I am talking about death because Saturn significations is one is death. I will talk about grandparent because nobody is that much worried if I talk and nobody is scared. I will talk about the death of the father and mother because by the time they would have reached to a certain age only they will start learning the subject. A young teenager will not come to learn this subject after only 28, 29, 30, uh, by, uh, more than that only. Because they have this uh, academic interest or interest in uh, spiritual sciences only in the later parts of their life. If you call a teenager or if you call a school going student, you will say I am not interested in that. It is junk. That's what their idea is. Fine. About death of father and mother, till this part I will conclude. About self, we will do it some other. Thank you.
You write it down. I will keep it there. But I will not do about it. <clears throat> what are the things which are going to happen? And when it is going to happen? Okay. When you talk about grandparent, Whenever you talk about the grandparents' death, it is when Saturn touches Rahu or when Saturn touches or aspects Kate. When I was narrating this, I told you 31. 31, the grandfather, no, no. 31 for him, 31 for the grandson. For me it is 7 years. And 4, 7, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 21. A grandpa, a grandparent, maternal or maternal, the danger of death will come to them when a native Saturn, a native Saturn, don't ask me, my brother is also having Saturn in some placement, or naturally, even in that case, you try to hold it for a longer time and observe it, you will get that picture also. Saturn, when it touches Ketu, here it is paternal. When it touches Rahu, maternal why what arguments i don't know all these things but this is what has happened in this case five years seven years once seven years because in the first round of one to thirty he touches about the grandparents because saturn is a significator of death in the 30 years in the first round he will touch only the grandparent from 30 to 60 he will touch the father or mother. He has got his justifications. Saturn in his first round 30 years. He will touch only the grandparent. Saturn and he will not touch father and mother directly. There I love, uh, there, there is a clause there. I have to teach that. I will do it. Okay. So when Saturn touched in the first 30 years, Ketu, parent, grandparent, Rahu, grandparent. I am blindly telling you as a grandparent, you can take it for a maternal or paternal according to your knowledge. What I have known is, this is paternal and that is maternal. Rahu is maternal for me. There is still some controversy going on. Let us discuss about that in one beautiful class. Fine. This is the first 30 years. When Saturn touches Ketu or Rahu, the grandparent will have danger of death. Close. This is one chapter. The next chapter begins about the mother and father. So mother and father How a mother's death takes place? How a father's death takes place? We take moon into consideration for mother. We take sun into consideration for the father. Okay. So, if I take moon into consideration, moon's eighth house lord is the Moon's eighth house or moon's eighth house lord is the significator of moon's aishthana, mother's aishthana, aishthana adipati. Moon's eighth house lord is the moon's aishthana adipati. So, when Saturn in his second round of transiting from 30 to 60 years, at that time, when he aspects when he touches moon's eighth house lord there will be danger of 
death to the mother. I'll explain. In this case, when it has happened, Okay. <sighs> okay. So this is two thousand fourteen was the two thousand fourteen was the death of the mother pertaining to this native. Okay. How many rounds? Saturn has completed one round already. He has begun the second round. Now he has to aspect the moon's eighth house lord or the moon's eighth house. Okay. So now moon is here in Libra. Moon's eighth house is Taurus. The lord is Venus. Venus is there with Libra. Clear? So moon's eighth house lord is here. Moon's eighth house is Taurus. Died at 2014. The native's age was 54. Clear? Now you see. After 30 years, after 30 years, till 60 years, the mother and father will be affected. Moon's eighth house lord. Now 30 years first round is over. In the second round only Saturn is to Saturn has to take care of the father or the mother. So 30 years is over here. Now this is 5, 35. This is 5, 40. This is 5, 50. No, no, no. 30, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Till here it is 50. Now 2 and a half, 52 and a half. So 54 comes somewhere here only. Okay. So when it comes in between, in, in between this block, when Saturn came to Leo, in the first round, he gave the native the job. Now in the second round when he came here, he saw Venus as the moon's Ayasthana Adipati. He took away at the age of 54. This is one point. Now, Sun. 1991. Just now, earlier when I was discussing, I told you, Father, 1991, that was the period. That is at the age of 31. Okay? See. When we speak about mother's death, we take the Aisthana Adipati or Aisthanam of the mother, Ethos from the moon. Now we are talking about son's Aisthana Adipati, the father's Aisthanam or the father's Aisthana Adipati. Son is it? Virgo. Kanya. From there, Aisthanam is Besham. When he is here, Mars, Mesha, Aishtana Adipati for the sun is there in Gemini. Now what did I say? Saturn in his second round from 30 to 60 years, when he touches the sun's Aishtana Adipati or when he aspects the sun's Aishtana Adipati or when he, he is aspecting the Sons Aishthana, then only there will be danger of death to father. One, Sons Aishthana. Second, Saturn aspecting Sons Aishthana Adipati. He will bring danger of death to the father. Right. Now, son, Aries is the Aishthana. Aishthana Adipati is martial. I told you immediately after 30 to 60, he will take care of the parents. One round is over. By 31 years come here. He directly aspects Mars. Sun's eye is Gone. 91. 31 years old. Hope it is clear. 
that is one more thing so many people are curious about to know whether the father will go away first or the mother will go away first even that is possible to tell how when the saturn saturn is the death giver when he so i was telling you about this <clears throat> 31 years the first 30 years is only for the grandparents regarding to know the dangers of death of the grandparents <clears throat> from 30 to 60 it is about the parents okay moon we had discussed that is over even sun i told you that suns Aishthanarpati Mars when aspected by Saturn in his second round when Saturn aspects in his second round the sun's Aishthanarpati the eighth house lord or the eighth house of sun there will be danger to the father this is what I was telling you and exactly at 31 when Saturn touched for his second round Sun's Aishthana Adipa, Aishthana is Aries, Aishthana Adipa is the Mars, Saturn aspects the Mars. So, 1991, there was danger to the father. Okay. About the self, wife or husband, right now, I don't think I will take it up. But, sure, I will give you. You can know, just like how marriage happens, which is the month birth of the wife or husband, Likewise, we can know the precise month of the danger of death towards to the father or mother and also to the self, wife, anybody. But we need a little assistance with or by taking up Astakavarga. So there you will be precise with the stars. Even the hours of death can be known. This is what I have worked out. This I have seen. I have seen a lot of calculations, so I think you are going to appreciate my knowledge or you are going to accept my knowledge. I will leave it to you. Okay? So, I think we have done quite a lot about Saturn. Important planets we have to take it because without telling in depth about anything or about any person or about life of a person in detail or in depth astrology has no use everybody questions us the hidden things only generally what all you see what all you feel that nobody is bothered the hidden things if at all you are able to tell them the hidden things you are the master of the subject okay so i think i'll end my session here